I always did wonder in the first Little Nightmares where all the masks come from. Like, the cooks and everybody that was eating there, they all had these weird fleshy masks over their real heads. It turns out they're maze by whatever I'm hearing right now. Do I really want to meet somebody who makes skin masks? <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe it's just haunted laundry that we have to worry about? I'm gonna turn my light off, how about that? <laughs> Something tells me that we are in trouble? Or Spider-Man should start watching his carb count? Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Little Nightmares 2, uh, that game that's taught us that every man, woman, and child, and possibly piano, is out to kill us. A general rule of thumb is something can't kill you if you kill it first. <laughs> Be sure to let me know how your transition from string instrument to percussion goes, would you Mr. Piano? Uh, six, you might wanna look out, okay. Yeah, you're like the one thing I'm not trying to kill here. <laughs> At least not yet. What you doing up there? Did you want to climb up that rope? I suppose we could dance on its body. Okay, that seems like a bit of a dick move. Not sure how I feel about this. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Okay. For a second there, I thought the piano had the last laugh. <laughs> But we're good! Great idea, Six! Now what? Oh, you just want to boost me up through a hole where we can hear flesh-ripping noises! Why do I have to be the one to go? Why can't you be the protagonist for once? Because I really don't want to deal with the kids who seems to be doing a dissection with a key? Oh! Oh! She's causing a distraction for me! That's actually really smart! Okay then, don't mind if I do. Just gonna grab this and perform a quick porcelain lobotomy. And just like that, I think we're safe. I'm gonna grab this super gross key. I'm sure there's gonna be a super gross lock for it somewhere. Six, I'll give it up. Sometimes you're pretty clever. Not like piano murder level of clever, but I appreciate you all the same. Good job. Now, where would that lock be? All right. I have no idea what's in store for us in the rest of the city, but I I'm just gonna say right now, I'm really happy that we finally got away from that damn school. What? Six, please tell me I'm not losing my mind. We ended the last episode having left the school, right? I, I can remember leaving through a window, we crossed an alleyway, we went into a completely different building, so how is it possible to, Jesus Christ, Six, okay, hold on, hold on, everything's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the hammer and then, you can smash its head with your bare hands. Okay then, that was dark? How is this possible? Look, what kind of inner city elementary school has multiple buildings? I could have swore we were out, but evidently not. We've got more students and chalk drawings, lockers and textbooks, and the ghosts of previously murdered pianos. <laughs> Six, what are the chances you could also crush an instrumental ghost with your bare hands? That'd be an ability that would come in real handy right about now. A little abstract, I know, but... Oh. Actually, what are you willing to bet it's the teacher playing the piano? Someone I had hoped we wouldn't see again. Guess we're gonna go find out. It sounds like we're getting closer. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> I honestly thought we had moved on. Like, that's the whole reason I ended the episode last time. Because we had escaped. And now we're having trouble moving at all. Oh. Yeah, I can hear breathing now, and it's a whole lot louder. Oh, you want to boost me up? All right, cool. Well, then I'll just go up here and make a ton of noise to help you up. This seems like a mistake. Oh, maybe I could time it with the music? Okay. Yo, one of these days, you're going to get crushed, Six. You really need to watch out. 
<laughs> Everything with you is a near miss. I kind of want to keep you around. You're handy for opening stuff, I suppose. <gasps> Maybe we could just slip out the back. Maybe one of these vents leads to the outside. You gotta get air into this place somehow. We don't need to find out who's playing the piano. God damn it, man. I always speak too soon. I think I see a way out for us, but just yeah, wait up there. Thank you. I really don't need the pitter-patter of four little feet down here because I was going to say two might be too many, but she stops playing every now and then to write down a couple of notes. So I'm only going to move when she plays, and I'm not going to move when she stops playing. Crank while she's vibing and not crank while she's not vibing. Does that sound reasonable? Kind of hoping that doesn't sound like anything at all, to be perfectly honest. <gasps> okay, so carefully, let's just give this a little bit of elbow grease. I don't know when she's gonna stop, but I kind of just want to play it safe. What if I hold this here for a second? It's gonna stop eventually. Okay, yeah, write that down. That's real good. You're, you're doing great. Maybe you should go check out your other piano. I, I heard it's having a hard time. <laughs> Is that good? That's good. Okay, now. No. I gotta pull this thing over to get back up. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna wait it out. You go ahead and do your thing. Uh-huh, yeah, scribble that one down, you're a regular Mozart, aren't you? And back to playing. Let me guess, this is gonna be the loudest, squeakiest thing that's ever existed. <laughs> oh, I hate it. My butthole is so puckered it could whistle. Please just let me leave. I'm not gonna jump. I'm not jumping yet. We're waiting. Goods? I'm having a hard time following the beat of this, so I'm, I'm really just gonna do an action and then wait. Do an action and then wait, and then hopefully she can't get to us. Okay, I think we might be in the clear. I'm waiting. Waiting right here. You've been a great help this time, Six. Thank you. Okay, hey, now, just gonna open up that door real quietly, and we're good. Okay, oh, that was a little loud. That was a little loud, but we're probably fine. Yeah, I think, I think we're not fine. I think we're not fine. That is definitely not a fine thing to see. Can we run in here? I'm gonna run anyway. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, she's gotta run out of neck eventually, right? But we're gonna be in the clear at some point. How much neck does this lady have? No! Catch me! Oh no! She's still coming! She's still coming! Don't move muscle. Every single enemy in this game falls for the Lord of the Rings trick. I can't believe it. We're good? We're good, okay, now I'm gonna say with the utmost certainty, we're out of the school. We, we have to be out of the school. Please tell me that's the last we're gonna see of the teacher. I swear if this is just some school courtyard, I am going to lose it. Okay, we're out, we're moving on. This is where I should have ended the last episode, but I didn't know any better. <laughs> I can't believe that. Look at all this. Wow, okay, you doing okay, Six? You're looking a little cold. Wonder bet you wish you had your raincoat now. <laughs> just careful with this. Maybe I'll go first, and then you? I know you're just a little thing, but I don't feel great about this. Okay, it's just gonna be cinematic. We're, we're, we're fine. Wow. What do you think happened here? Like, how does a transmission do this? I can almost understand the TV warping people's minds and then their bodies, but just straight up splitting the world one giant new butthole is real weird. Same thing for all the raptured people. All the bodies that just disappeared still doesn't add up. I know I made jokes earlier, but I genuinely think Six isn't doing well. We might want to get inside. Maybe we can push this somewhere? Like, back? And then... Oh, that's gonna close it, and then we can move to the right. I thought we were gonna have to go up on that back roof, but probably not. Uh, something like that look good to you? 
I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Hold on. Just just give me a sec. I got mad hops. I also have a paper bag on my head, so I'm probably not doing too well with the old rain either. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's possible. It can be done. You got it. There we go. Okay. So, what horrors await us next? <laughs> Clearly, we're going to run into someone. And that someone may very well be Pennywise. Oh, it's another shadow. Okay, well, I'll just absorb you. I'm sure there's nothing weird happening there. <laughs> and we got ourselves a paper boat. Okay, let's head on over to the sewer grate, Georgie. <laughs> if I lay this here, am I gonna get some kind of Easter egg, maybe? I don't know if I can. Oh, there we go. Okay, we didn't get eaten by a clown. That's probably for the best. I, I, I don't know what I was hoping for there, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Let's just get inside. It's real cold. Oh, there's a raincoat here. So could you come over and grab that? Is this how she gets a raincoat? Wait, I don't remember if she got it in the first game. That's really cool. <gasps> huh. Well, that cements it. This absolutely is a prequel. Really, really interesting. Your new fashion choice doesn't change our friendship, but I'm still really weary of you. I've seen you straight up eat gnomes in that, so forgive me if I'm just a, a little bit hesitant. Oh, mannequins, great. Doesn't everyone just love mannequins? Okay, there we go. <laughs> just gonna try to avoid that at all costs. Let's uh, keep on moving. Do you wanna boost me? Yeah, boost me up. I'll, I'll just do all the heavy lifting for now. It's like we've been saying, you're the brains, I'm the brawn. Go over here. Oh, yeah, those are my shins that have been splintered. Push this over. Just keep on trucking. I still really want to know what's waiting for us in this city. Like, I know the whole point is that we're trying to get to the origin of the transmission, but we haven't seen the origin. So, like, what is it that we're following right now? Is it just uh, slightly used toilet paper? This is why we should be wearing shoes. Yeah, you got a little on your hand there. <laughs> God, just kill me now. <laughs> like, I still think that there's some kind of innate thing that's calling to us. Like, maybe that we've been interacting with the transmissions and that's what's gotten to us. What is this? Building that we can go in. It's got a bed out front. Your hotel? Got a light, which means there's probably somebody home. On to the next chapter, I suppose. First things first, when entering a new building, we're just gonna take a quick second to listen. Not hearing anything but the rain, so maybe no one's home? Got some kind of laundry cart? Yeah, whole bunch of laundry, whole bunch of beds with blood on them. Is this a prison? Can't think of many places that would have a whole bunch of jail bars or a hospital. Okay. Having seen what we just saw, how about we don't? You know, I, I can't imagine that an asylum is going to be a whole lot more welcoming than a school was. <gasps> I just get bad feelings about falling to death. Okay, good catch. Thank you. You know that I'm cool with you taking the lead on some things, but do we absolutely have to hardcore parkour across all of the strung up beds? <laughs> I'm not exactly the greatest jumper or climber or even holder in most cases, so I, I would really rather not. <gasps> oh, we're going up, are we? All right, I suppose that would be better than the alternative of down, but why are all these beds like this? I, I could understand the building falling apart and beds collapsing through floors and stuff like that, but why would a bunch of them be, like, strung up with rope? It doesn't make any sense. It's just the weirdest. Uh, I think I saw a body on one of those beds. Yup, those are bodies. I'm kind of a fan of having the lights on in here, so I don't know how I feel about it, but we can pluck it out and close the door as well. Okay, some kind of fuse. Take this with us and be on our merry way in the dark. <laughs> Still haven't heard anything. Still no one home, so maybe I'm just being paranoid. 
Maybe this is one great, big, confusing, strange, but unoccupied building. That'd be pretty wonderful. Pop that in there. Our elevator opens, and is this a drop? This is a potential drop, I would say. <laughs> don't have a good feeling. Don't. Six. Don't. Don't. What did I just say? Okay, over here. Over here. Real quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is your fault. This is your doing. <laughs> Open it up. Oh, oh, yeah. You, you just go. You go. It's fine. I'll, I'll just take my sweet time getting through before this gives out. All right then. I'm starting to see you get bolder and bolder, Six. <laughs> really don't appreciate it. Sometimes the initiative is cool, sometimes it's a real dick move and it's starting to concern me. We're also still kind of glancing over the fact that you crushed that kid to death. Uh, flashlight? Ooh. Okay. Uh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, that would be the eye. Seen that plenty of times before. Huh. Yeah, because this game really needed more ambiance. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got I got the flashlight. Don't worry, I know how it works. Let's just keep on trucking. Anybody in here, I wonder? Hello? Seems quiet enough. Maybe we're okay? Yeah, oh, Jesus. You startled me, strange little shadow kid. Here, you hop inside me. There we go. Six just sees this. You know, she's like, oh, that's kind of weird. So, you know, maybe turn your flashlight back on since we're in a void. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to blind you. Just meant to eat that child. Okay. I am getting more and more concerned by the second. There's something over this way, maybe? Oh, yeah, open door. Why have we not encountered anything in here? It, it, it seems wrong. You know what I mean? Because it's a different location and it's got electricity, so clearly somebody's running the place. I can get a skitter around back there, is there? No? Okay. It's <laughs> gotta be something that I'm missing. Something was boarded in there. Okay, we probably don't want to go in there. <laughs> Think we'll pass and go down the creepy alleyway. That, that's probably for the best. Hello? Marco! Marco! Oh, we got more electricity. Oh, right, I didn't turn the electricity off to the place, did I? I just pulled a fuse, so there's probably more fuses throughout. Yeah, this place is up and running. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Vending machine? Hey! I got us a drink! A drink that's the size of my torso. I still don't get the proportions of this place. Here we go. All right, and a boop. Great, that's only incredibly loud. I'm just gonna keep my flashlight out at all times. Feel a whole lot safer with it. What is making that noise right now? The TV's off. Is that you? Is that you? So sorry, sorry, sorry with the friggin' light. I, I, don't, I don't mean to, okay. Well. I guess the TV calls me again. Oh, wait, these aren't even people, are they? A lot of prosthetics around, but uh, okay, hold on a second. We're just gonna tune this real quick. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, there, there it is, there, mm, kind of. You gotta feel it out. It's something that doesn't really translate to video all that well, but it's, it's super weird. I'm feeling it in the controller, in my hands. I'm just gonna kind of reach into the TV and, and try to straighten things. You know, straightening that hallway, there it is, and we're in. Okay, so the, this is also calling to us, and it, it kind of harkens back to what I was talking about, it's something driving us through this neighborhood, through this city, towards an objective. We're also running through an objective here. We want to get to the door, but every time we get close to the door, Six pulls us out. She doesn't want us to see what's behind the door. Why? It, it's very strange, especially because it had that like weird, wispy blackness the very first time we saw it, which harkens back to Six's whole ability or whatever. I don't know. Either way, guessing we're good. These are not people, or not people anymore, because it's really just a torso. 
Okay. Lights on. <laughs> I'm gonna guess they don't want anything to do with us. We don't want anything to do with them. We can go upstairs or we can go in here. There's an elevator here. There's a door that's broken down. Okay. Oh. Interesting. X-ray machine. And some X-rays. Somebody took an X-ray of a teddy bear with a key in it. Why? You think this thing still works or what? So maybe I can turn it on. Oh, yeah. We can X-ray ourselves. I'm sure this isn't an incredibly dangerous amount of radiation. Hold on. I want to see if we can hold hands back there. It'd be so cute. If, if I interact with her, then sometimes I can... Uh, yeah. Look at us. We're skeleton buddies. <laughs> All right, we can't do that a third time, otherwise I think I'm gonna be sterile. Probably for the best that we save it for a, the teddy bear? Teddy bears? Should I be concerned that the teddy bears are the only things in here vibrating? That's weird. Uh, this one seems to be vibrating a whole lot less. Maybe we'll try you first. Oh, you got a toy too, do you? Great. Yeah, that that's not really the point, but sure. She just follows along. You grab toy, I grab toy. We x-ray all toys. <laughs> Hopefully this is the one. Oh no, it's a bear. Right, and this is a rabbit. So this can't be the one. Right? Maybe the, the ears are pinned back in that? Am I lucky? <gasps> yeah, okay, we're good. And that has an axe head in it. Weird. Why does that have an axe head in it? All right, uh, but what do we do to get the key out? I can't just, like, shake it around. I don't suppose you'd be willing to rip it in half like a child's head, would you? Got an elevator here. We haven't explored this yet. Don't think it works. Oh, it works. I regret this. I, I, actually, I don't even know where the key goes. So maybe the door is down here? Oh, great. Nice creepy hospital sub-basement. We got bodies, we got hooks. Oh, we got morgue shelves. Lovely. <laughs> Not what I was hoping for, or exactly what I was hoping for. We got a furnace down here. Yeah, I could shove that in there <laughs> and then you can shove that in there too, sure, why not? We'll just burn all the toys, right? Yeah, there we go. <gasps> okay. That made a very strange sound. I'm gonna hope that we can get the key. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. There is an arm there. Where did that ax head go? Is that important? I think we'd search for it. She must have thrown that in here for a reason, right? Maybe not? Sorry, Six. I, I can't find your axe heads. You were onto something there, but it, it's gone. Assuming that's what I saw, it definitely looked like it. So now I have a key. Great. One question is, what am I trying to unlock? So this main elevator doesn't work. It looks like I need two fuses. I'm guessing that if I unlock a door, I might be able to find those fuses. Oh, I really hope you don't move. One of them are gonna move eventually, right? Oh, we need another fuse here. So I'm short three fuses. That's not good. I've got a key. Sir, I don't suppose you've seen any locked doors around or much of anything with all those head bandages. <gasps> I still can't tell if they're bodies or mannequins or a little of both, because there are a lot of prosthetics lying around, but it does kind of seem like They've got toes and stuff. Okay, there we go. We'll unlock you. And then just hope that there are a whole bunch of... I was gonna say fuses. Legs weren't really what I was hoping for. <laughs> uh, okay, these are prosthetics. Yeah, well, we got a, a bunch of hands and hooks. And uh, body. Is that a person? That looks like a human torso. The replacing the arms, the legs, and the head. Who is doing that, though? It's gotta be someone, right? Oh, okay. Tr try, try not to make any noise, please. 
<laughs> oh no. I don't want to. No, what? Flashlight? Don't screw with me. <gasps> I really do not need little shadow boys sneaking up on me. Okay, you're mine now. <laughs> don't move. Please don't move. Waiting for all these arms just reach out and grab me. <laughs> the hands like skitter along the floor, or the legs to kick my ass, or something like that. It's only a matter of time, right? They wouldn't do it any other way. <gasps> this door is closed too. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, it's open. Okay, we're good. So you, you just boost me up. I'll go deal with whatever's in here. <gasps> I'm sure nothing in here is gonna want to kill me. Marco. Another body. Yeah. Still no. Okay, wait. That is definitely a person. Because it doesn't have heads and it doesn't have legs, but it does have a hand rather than a replacement hand. So this one hasn't been worked on fully yet. Thought I heard something. Maybe not. Okay. Let's just slide this out of the way and get the hell out of here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, the hand! Oh, the hand! I take it back. That was not a hand. That was a prosthetic. But it was one that I should be concerned about. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, little guy? I'm sure you're not gonna want to hurt me, right? Maybe? Possibly? Okay. Yep, skittering around. Don't like that. It's gonna try to attack me, right? It has to. I can, oh, oh, okay, no, 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 oh. yeah, get wrecked, nerds. Oh, no, no, under, under, ah, ah, I got my face. I was about to say, it, it sounds and it moves like a face hugger. You know what, I've had enough of your shenanigans. You can absolutely screw off. I want this fuse, it is my fuse, and I'm gonna smash all the fingers that I need to smash. Get wrecked. Okay, maybe we just need to hit him five times? Four times if we're only going for fingers? Thumb doesn't count, technically. You're gonna have a hard time walking around without all them thingies. Is it dead? I'm gonna hit it again just to make sure. <laughs> no, I think it's dead. Okay, good, great, wonderful. I'm sure there aren't gonna be any more hands lying around in here. <laughs> How am I gonna get back out? Like, I, I ran around in circles. Is there a shortcut over here somewhere? Six? Are you out there? Oh, wait, I recognize this. We, we saw this broken window. She should be on the other side of this, right? Just move this out of the way and, and chuck you through. Making a whole lot of noise. If we weren't throwing like a complete puss. Come on, work with me. There we go. <laughs> Six? I don't know where you went. Six. I was gonna say, I just dealt with the weirdest fingering ever. Uh, what you doing? Just breaking fingers. Okay then. That's also dark and concerning. <gasps> uh, yep, just sitting there busting fingers for a laugh. Guys, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to worry about Six a little bit more. I know that I've been saying she's gonna Judas me, but now I'm thinking she's gonna Judas everyone. <laughs> she has not been the happiest. Where did this come from? Was that there earlier? Am I losing my mind? Oh, maybe I was supposed to take that from an earlier door? I don't get it. Okay, well, we've got a door over here that we can open with a single fuse, and then we'll hit the elevator. I still don't know where that other fuse came from, though. I didn't do that. Did you do that? <gasps> oh, I feel like that's too easy. Right? It's somebody's leading us on? There's gotta be somebody around here somewhere. Somebody's working on all this. Oh, let me guess. You No, no, I, I, a shotgun. You, you get boosted up. Nope. Nope. Nope, don't you get boosted up this time. I don't want to go in there. I, 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 I don't want to go in there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <gasps> Why do I draw the short straw every time? Did she just run off? I absolutely did hear the little swish, swish, swish of a raincoat running away. <laughs> no, like, okay, fine. I, I guess I'm just gonna have to do this one on my own. 
more or less. I don't suppose I could just open that door now, could I? I mean, this room had power. What you doing over there, bud? Oh, six? Six, I don't, oh, I don't like the six. Maybe if I just don't move and stay in the dark, then it can't see me. Or maybe it doesn't care, okay. Hi. <laughs> No, 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 I, I don't think so, Mr. Butt Cheeks. Thank you very much. I will be on my way now. Good day to you, sir, I said good day. Okay then, so this flashlight is a lot more than just for my emotional comfort. It's also gonna be very important. I don't know which of you are alive and which aren't, but I really don't wanna find out. Um, six, please help. Please, please, I need a boost. I don't want to go down there. Okay, come on. Come on now. Who wants to eat me? Who, who wants to move? Anyone? Anyone? No? How about you, sir? You, you, are you the kind to move? Keep my flashlight on you. Anyway, who? I gotta I see if there's something that distinguishes the ones that can move from the ones that can't. None of them have limbs. Some of them have heads. Did I just see you move? Don't know. Either way, I'm gonna steer clear of everybody. <gasps> Maybe if I just uh, don't get in like their 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 radius. Their radius. Okay, okay. That that's a that's a dick move. That's a dick move. We can't be doing that. We cannot. Be doing the whole splitting the wickets thing because then it's getting get difficult. Don't be like that. Do not. I'm gonna go under here. <laughs> you guys can't reach, right? You barely have arms. This is stupid. What did I say earlier about mannequins? <laughs> I don't wanna deal with this right now. <gasps> okay, no, 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 no. We just gotta corral all of them. As long as we can keep them behind us, that's what I should be doing. I should be walking backwards. <laughs> Makes this quite a bit more straightforward. Oh, they got like weird little masked heads. Yeah, this this is good. This this is good. This is good. This is this is good. <laughs> this is good. I constantly find myself playing this little game called Do You Want to Go Down the Hallway? And the answer is always no, I really don't. I would much rather avoid everything I can and maybe climb through vents that sound safe. Yeah, nice safe vents. <laughs> Nothing would ever hurt us in here. What am I hearing right now? I just heard something. It wouldn't be a mannequin, would it? Because they don't seem to move without someone around. Weird, he was just a mouse? Well, isn't this just a creepy scene? <laughs> it can't get much worse than, oh, a bunch of poop buckets and prisoners. Okay, yeah, it can get worse. I keep speaking too soon, that's my bad. Yep, yep, not looking to get a light puppet fingering today, thank you. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 running, running, not, not interested, unsubscribe. I, I could turn around and look at them with a light, but I think I would rather just not. I think I've managed to keep them fairly far away, so hopefully I can turn around and actually climb for once. Thank you, Mono. I very much appreciate you doing what I tell you to do sometimes. Should I have grabbed that? I'm gonna grab it anyway. Yeah, lights. Lights are great. Lights and soap. <gasps> I want everything that I can grab. Oh, all right. Open up. That's real loud. You see, it is very much like a hospital and a prison. Wonderful. Uh, get you strapped into a tub and you're on that, okay. And I need to get through there. Do I need to move you? I, I, I kinda don't wanna interact with any of these things, but it seems fine-ish. I guess I can keep my light on it. Can I grab this, or? Oh, it's too heavy, because I need to get it to move. Okay, hold on now. So if I go and turn the lights back off, 
then I would imagine you're gonna come scurrying over towards me? Before we piss off our little wheelchair friend, I think I found a secret? This isn't the vent that I came through, right? Because this has a box of soap in front of it. So what do we have back here? Secret secrets? I like secret secrets. Maybe we can find ourselves a nice little hole to go die in. <gasps> or another gnome friend. I would appreciate a uh, bathtub body. Great. Okay, then I guess I'm just going to grab you and be on my way. That's a padded cell if I've ever seen one. Weird. All right, well, here goes nothing. I'll just turn the lights off. And then you carry me home. Haha, uh -huh, get it? It, it, it? It's a it's a music reference, maybe? Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. Hey, for a second there, I thought you were gonna ignore the flashlight rule. <laughs> Don't be like that. You, you stay, stay back, stay back. I'm just gonna turn, turn, turn the lights on, turn the lights on, turn the lights on. Okay. <laughs> Not doing that again. <laughs> That was way, way too close. Oh, man. Like, we really couldn't have just stacked up a bucket or like a soapbox or something. We, we absolutely had to have the wheelchair. There's no two ways about it. <laughs> okay. Got another nice dark room full of limbs. And more than limbs. Ooh. Calm down. Calm down. You stay over there. You, do, you guys do your thing, and I'll do my thing. All right. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're cool. We we are all. No, we're not cool. There's so many of them. We might have a bit of a problem. Okay, I think the spinning technique is actually kind of working a little bit. Like I, I could just stop them for like a split second, just just long enough for me to back away. Okay, I'm running out of control of real estate here. Go, 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 go. Yup, yup. Too many. Way too many. Uh, if we really wanted to execute one of them, we could let him in. Drop something through there for six. Hey, um, yeah, where you been? Oh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get a, a fuse, was it? Do we need a fuse? Is that what we're after? Or, yeah, it's a fuse. Okay, because we didn't already have enough fuses. I'm confused. Oh, no, I just made a bad pun. It was the fuse that we already got and then the one that magically showed up in front of the elevator. So, what is this one for? Feels like I'm missing something. I, I still think that one that showed up was probably a bug. It, it has to have been, because I didn't get it, and I just, oh, all right, easy enough. You can pull that over and then, oh, I need to open this door. Right, because I need to leave. But, like, I came in here for a reason, didn't I? Was it just to grab this? I'm gonna close this anyway, even if I don't need it. Screw it, I don't, I don't wanna let those things out. Good. Okay, so, now we have three fuses. Why? What the hell, the one that was here is gone. That doesn't make any sense. It was, he, uh, maybe I'm losing my mind and what I saw wasn't actually a fuse, but I could've swore that it was. So could have I just skipped all of that? I mean, I wouldn't want to, obviously, but still. What a weird glitch. Or like, maybe I am just seeing things. It's like I said, it's definitely possible. Okay, well, we're now going down. It's kind of hoping for up. What do you think is waiting for us in the deepest, deepest part of this place? Uh, ho, ho. Oh, that's your shadow. Okay, never mind. <gasps> Freaking out over shadows. This is different. Quieter. Oh, we got toe tags on bodies. So maybe this is more. No, we we, we still got also a bunch of prosthetics. It's not entirely corpses. Weird. It's so freaking dark. You hear something? Something sounds like a radio? 
Whatever I was hearing seems to have stopped. Like, I was standing there for like a solid minute with the volume cranked up, trying to figure out what it was saying. Because it just sounded like mumbling, but I, I guess it's... Gone? Uh, okay. I'm gonna arm myself. You... Hold it off? Oh, there's more than one. Of course there's more than one. Because these things come in pairs. I'm just gonna smush these fingers. Could you be a doll and stop that one from coming out? I gotta deal with old righty here. We've been acquainted once or twice before. Come on, there we go. Uh, no, six, six. Now is, now is not the time. I am not equipped to deal with lefty and righty. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me right now. Did I get one? Okay, I got one. Righty is down. Sh sh I'm not gonna make a run for it. No, I'm not gonna puss out. I'm gonna finish finish the fight. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, you got one more. Six. Maybe if you could pick up one of those boards and, and swing it over this way would really come in handy. Come on. Are we good? I think we're good. I'm gonna run for it. Screw it. Yeah, you were a great help there. I'll give you a 51%. It's a passing grade, but man, oh man, that was rough to say the least. Oh. That's interesting. Now I'm hearing things again. I always did wonder in the first little nightmares where all the masks come from. Like, the cooks and everybody that was eating there, they all had these weird fleshy masks over their real heads. It turns out they're maze by whatever I'm hearing right now. Do I really want to meet somebody who makes skin masks? <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe it's just haunted laundry that we have to worry about? I'm gonna turn my light off, how about that? <laughs> Something tells me that we are in trouble? Or Spider-Man should start watching his carb count? Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> Why is it on the ceiling? <laughs> oh, I hate it. <gasps> What are you? Oh, it's making one of the mannequins. It's got the human torso there. I guess it's fishing around for prosthetics. You jam an arm or a leg in there. That was the mumbling that I heard. Oh, okay. You go ahead and look for whatever it is you're looking for. I'm gonna try to quietly get behind this box. Okay, great. Back to work. Back to work. Okay, yeah, let's just inspect this real quick. Mm-hmm, yep, that's a neck hole. Still a neck hole. <gasps> oh, oh. Gonna go with the head first. Bold choice. I'll be on my way now. <gasps> I guess it's a doctor? Does that make sense? It does very, oh, you look like your hospital, okay. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the way it moves. I hate the way the dust comes off the ceiling. I hate the fact that its fat fingers are super close to me. I hate everything about it. Okay. Of course there would be a super loud door with a button and the only thing to hit the button is all the way down there. <laughs> all right, I guess we're just gonna crawl underneath these beds. He hasn't figured out we're here yet. Maybe we can keep this nice and quiet. Uh, Six, could you? Yeah, I was gonna say, just, just hang out. Go back there. Don't come with me. You stand out. You're freaking highlighted in the dark. There's a reason that we don't wear raincoats as camouflage. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on now. Go away. Go on. Good. Great. Wonderful. Okay, he's over there, so I, I should be able to grab this. Nice and quiet. Sneak on back. Easy peasy. He's never gonna notice an old block missing. Right? On screeing away. Now, six. What are we gonna do when we hit the button? That's my concern. We've already seen this door a bunch before. It's gonna make a big bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
I just need to wait for him to get to the very back of the room, kind of like he is right now. Throw that, and then the hiding. Right? She's on the same page. She's doing the exact same thing as me. Maybe he'll just leave. Maybe he'll just go elsewhere. Oh, he's got shoes and legs. I don't know why I assumed he wouldn't. So he is like a, a, a strangely obese doctor who has decided to take up life on the ceiling for some reason. He actually did leave. Okay, way to go team. So was hiding the only choice there? Oh, we probably could have just hid in here. Yeah, there's, there's a hiding spot right there. That makes sense, I suppose. I'm still happy that I hid back there. Just remove any possibility of screwing it up because I can't climb or move with a crap. You lead the way, Six. I'll follow. What? Wait, wait. Why are we following him? We don't want to follow him. That's stupid, right? We could easily just go back the way we came and, and not make our way to the transmission. Okay, fine. I, I guess that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but... Why is it we always have to follow the monster? Why is it that it's always going in the same direction we need to go? Okay. That would be how he gets around on the ceiling. Took out a whole bunch of tiles and now he can kind of George of the jungle his way around. Interesting. Not gonna fall down there. Much as I'd like to see what's going on. Come on, please don't be through here. Okay. Is he here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we're not good. We're not good. We we need a key. I don't have a key, do I? No. Crap. Do you have a key? <laughs> of course not. You never have a key. You're friggin' useless. Can we find another little girl doing a dissection, maybe? Something in here, perhaps? Oh yeah, just gonna... Pull out a box. Is there anything in here? Other than you. This is, no, no, hey, what? Okay. No, I'll, I'll go with this. I'll regret it. I was gonna say there's flies and crap. I thought there might've been a shadow child, but no, just a bunch of corpses. He's not in here, is he? No, my flashlight won't stop him, so I'm feeling a little worried. Okay, there's the key. So, how do we get up there? I'm guessing I can do a little something like this. Yeah, excuse me, sir, and or madam. Just gonna go ahead and uh, try to get my way up. There we go. Oh, ooh, loud noises. I can't get up there. Uh. Oh, I see. Got to parkour my way up and through. Okay, don't, don't worry, Six. I'm figuring it out. Just got to tickle some feet. <laughs> yeah, it's like I said, you can tell those aren't prosthetics because they've got toes. So these are the fresh victims, I suppose. I'm up there and then swing on you. Genius. Okay. Now, just got to make this jump. Okay. Everything is coming up, Millhouse. I think we got the key. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Didn't even have to deal with the uh, good doctor. Just take you. Everything is fine. Not gonna come charging through that door at me. Doesn't want his organ bucket. Okay, I, I would like to come back through six. We're, we're good here. We're, we're hunky dory. I feel good about that. <laughs> the enemies in this are just so off putting that I'm, I'm kind of happy to be able to avoid them at least every now and then. Just give me a, a simple workaround. You know, I need to find a key. Okay, where's the key? There it is. Got the key. Unlock the key. No problem. Now, open this. Hopefully, don't make too much noise. Some resistance in this one. Don't like that. Okay. What have we got? Other than more bodies. Don't have much. And in Rome, I guess we'll just do as the Romans do, and the good doctor climbs, then we'll climb. <laughs> All right, I, I really don't want to be up here in his domain, but if need be, I suppose it's better than being down there. This is easy enough to get through. Okay, vents are good. We've only been attacked in vents once. It's a lot better record than anywhere else, so <laughs> can't really complain. Going up is good too. 
I like the idea of going up and out. Uh, hey, 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 watch it. Fly down. Okay, he's to our left. I'm guessing we need a fuse to get through here, which is probably an exit, so... What are the odds he has the fuse up his colossal butt? Let's, uh, let's hide. I don't, I don't really want to just walk into the room all willy-nilly. Just, like, pushes the lights out of the way. There's the fuse. Of course the fuse would be up there with him. <laughs> all right, well, this is gonna suck. Let's get it over with. I'll give him credit. He's very hygienic. He's washed his hands about a dozen times now. And then he goes over and inspects that, which is why we are gonna go over here and hope to find something, anything. Are you gonna be able to boost me up there? Okay, oh, you wanna boost me out of the room with him? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Sounds good. What the hell? There's still somebody alive in here. Oh, I see. So if I pull the plug on this guy, then the doctor would have to come rushing in here. Hopefully it'd take him a few minutes to save him, and that time I'd be able to grab the fuse and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Sounds like a solid enough plan. So let's hope that we can actually reach that without falling to our death. I mean, this is pretty high for a little guy. Try our best, I suppose. Just, uh, hup, into, whoop. There we go, okay, and now would be the time to hide. Now would be a very important time to, do not, okay, just gonna hide here, I guess. Is this a good place to hide? I don't know. Okay, yep, come on now. Oh. Yeah, he turned it back on, but he's gonna have to work on him. Good. S slip on by, ew, oh, that's a sound. That's a sound for sure, mm, don't like that. So we flatlined, even though we turned the power back on. Yeah, I'm a genius, Six, I know. Now please, help me figure out how to get up there, because we need to do it like yesterday. Maybe pull this out? Oh, oh, yeah, that, wait, that's you. I, I thought for a second that was me. You're well on the board. Okay, thank you, thank you, good job. You're all over things. I will go up, and I will grab this, like there. Okay, and then down. Down, and we're getting the hell out of here. We got everything we need, it's time to go. It's time to go. Just let that person die. This is gonna be loud, isn't it? So, do we wanna run, or do we wanna hide? And hiding worked last time. How about this? I'm gonna pop this in, and Six, you tell me what you wanna do. I'll wait over by the door. Do you wanna run, or do you wanna hide? Oh, you wanna run? Okay, yeah, let's run. I like that idea. Let's just run it out. I'm sure he won't be able to follow us on the ceiling, right? I mean, he's so big and slow. How could he possibly catch up to us? Oh, crap, 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 crap. I wasn't ready for this. Six, no, come back. Six, well, you shouldn't be that much faster than me. Come on, this is supposed to be a team effort. There is no I in team. I'm gonna get smooshed. Ooh, okay, yep, we're, we're crawling, we're crawling. Are we good? He can't get us under all these beds. Oh, he could just crush the beds. Right, he's a big boy. Real thick bean. All right, no, oh boy. Am I, I'm somehow still alive. Ew. I hate him so much. <gasps> That's a good idea. Okay, I'll just let him chase me in here because he doesn't give a crap about you, apparently. And then we torch him? Ew. <gasps> Look at his lips. Just one time, I would like for you to be the bait, Six. Is that too much to ask? Okay, close it, close it, and skaboosh. There we go. Oh, that must just smell delicious. <laughs> You're really gonna warm your hands by that? Ew. <laughs> Six is so screwed up. She really is. It's just a great insight into her character. I'm guessing that's the last we're gonna see of the doctor, though. Hopefully. Can I walk away now? I really do not want him to come crawling out of there without much skin. Here, I, I need a boost. You're warm now. I would appreciate a, a little hand. Okay. I, I mean, I shouldn't say it, because I'm gonna speak too soon. Just like with the freaking teacher. 
<laughs> okay, this, this has to be it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it. This has to be the end of the hospital. It has to be the end of the doctor. We can move on to whatever other terrors are waiting us. Get me the hell out of here, please. Up, up. I appreciate up. How you feeling, Six? You doing good? Okay, screw me. What do you guys think? Top floor? It'd be really easy to tell in an elevator if you could see the friggin' buttons. <laughs> but no such luck. I'm hearing something again. But it might just be the rain. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a waiting room, I guess. We can find ourselves another one of those fancy windows that are supposed to signify a transition, but evidently not all the time. Yeah, this is the exact same window. We, we did this with the hunter, and we did this with the teacher, and now we're going to do it again, and I'm going to assume that it leads to freedom, but evidently not always. Okay, you know what? I think we're free. I think this is a good place to end off. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Little Nightmares 2, guys. And it's like I said, these videos aren't doing particularly well, but at least the interaction is there. A lot of comments, a lot of support, a lot of likes, stuff like that. So if you want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to get out of this rain and into another hell soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.